Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here you have a good uh, case study and I hope uh, you learn some stuff and you like it. We have a patient, middle-aged guys, after massive uh, uh, MI. Uh, they sent uh, three weeks later for the follow-up and detected this study, as you can see on the plaques, PZAX, mitral, apex, apical 4, 2, and 3. Except uh, the ball motion, you can see low ejection fraction and all those stuff. Since uh, the tech couldn't see some segment, especially apex here anterior and here apical tree and here near field artifact for rule out uh, thrombosis, uh, the doctor, uh, cardiologist, and tech they use uh, definity contrast agent. In this case, definity. Here is the definity for that patient, as you can see, apical for except wall motion and low ejection fraction, even is global wall motion abnormality and low ejection around 25, something like that. Uh, an apical tree, there is some posterior shadow here, you can see, you don't see sigmoid here, but here in generally the same finding, there is a papillary muscle here, and some echogenicity here is not clear, and take couldn't get apical 2 because of the window even have apical 4. Uh, then he uh, asked uh, my opinion and checked the uh, case, what is going on, if we need something else or not. What do you think? Is that patient has any abnormal finding except the wall motion and global? hypokinesis and low ejection fraction or not. I went there and uh, saw those uh, images and view. As you can see here, I am sure 100% there is not any thrombosis, but we have we make sure 100%. We use it uh, definitely even a little here, pericardial effusion. You can see a little pleural effusion, some lung collapsibility and density here except those and wall motion we don't see here apex a little off because we don't see pinpoint of the apex but the most important here is uh, at the PZAX one uh, even out uh, the contrast enhancement agent is one of the best and useful invest uh, in, uh, invention in the ultrasound and especially in echo and it is very good tools for evaluation of wall motion abnormality in those patients with poor window. And we can use it for the not only wall motion abnormality, for hypertrophic obstructive, especially apical, uh, non-compact co uh, non cardiomyopathy, eosinophilic cardiomyopathy, pseudoaneurysm or pseudoaneurysm. And even in those cases, we don't have strong aortic valve Doppler or TR for pulmonary hypertension, the contrast agent is wonderful. But we have to remember one thing, and unfortunately some tech and even cardiologists, they lost their contact with the uh, basic principle of the ultrasound and echo. Echo create image and clips from one plate. And the only way we cannot miss anything uh, is that when we search any area spot, we have to survey and scanning through all that area. For example, if we are going to apical for we want to check it apex, only classic view for chamber never is enough for rule outing anything. So when you have apical four, you have fanning up all the way apical five, even past pulmonary view, then lost it completely apex then go uh, fan down to the bed and get basal view until you pass. And in that case, you survey all that area uh, with the scanning. Or apical to the same fan up to the left, fan down to the right of uh, yourself or toward the bed until you sweep and uh, survey all area. Very important, as I mentioned in the PZAX transthoracic echo lecture, 
on the A piece X, all we have to survey and finish it and end it apex. We have to so move our transducer toward the apex until this appear. On this view, I notice okay, there is an apex. We don't have popularity model, but there is something going on wrong beside of ball motion abnormality. You can see there is a thickening here. Patient with the heart attack shouldn't have thickening. It can be hypertrophy of uh, 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 hypertrophy of endocardium or trabeculation, uh, hypertrabeculation or thrombosis, as you can see here. So uh, my point on when I see this one, I went there and then sweep it at that level first, at the apex. Now let's see what we found. Here you can see at the apex, we sweep it up to the apex and suddenly you can see we have very hyper echogenicity material at the inferior of the apex very clear so based on this we came to this uh, point that 100 percent we can find this uh, substance or echogenicity material in the apical 2 or in apical 4 basal view so we went there apical 2 and suddenly with off access because the patient didn't have at that view uh, the classic apical 2 so we did a little lateral and find it medial finally off axis apical 2 we catch it uh, this big uh, thrombosis and you can see based on the cogenicity and the shape it's almost a little old at least two weeks uh, thrombosis had been there and in apical 4 we went basal completely basal view finally you can see in this area at the apex so based on this even we don't use in any uh, definity we can catch it if we have good window we can catch it without any uh, definity or any contrast agent that is the my point on this uh, case study never ever just rely on one thing contrast agent are wonderful in specific and or indications that has a specific indication and we don't have full window or is not uh, is not very conclusive we can add on in our knowledge and information by using definity just when you do definity is not that okay it's as a magic uh, things show everything that is your skill and concept and knowledge that you use and improve your study by the agent And based on that concept, we went again definity, we use contrast, and with fanning and sweeping, finally we found those uh, thrombosis, or thr uh, that thrombosis, at the uh, off axis view on all those uh, view, two chamber, three chamber, and five chamber, uh, four chamber basal view. I am preparing a complete uh, lecture with uh, detail in clinical and practical aspect and skill for using contrast agent in the echocardiography for the regular, for the stress echo, pharmacology, stress echo, and all those indications for using uh, contrast agent, and it will be uploaded uh, on, on the next week. I hope you like it. Please share it. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.